How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about a few things or seven tips to keep in mind when choosing a VPN provider. Now, before we get into this, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as the full reviews down below. Uh, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Uh, so, you know, of course, they all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and where you're looking for out of these VPNs. Okay, so number one, you want to look for a reputable company with a proven track record. You can check out online reviews and ask for recommendations from friends and colleagues who may have the experience with VPN providers, or you could also take a look at this video. And again, you'll find the full reviews for these VPNs down below. Number two, you want to make sure the provider offers strong encryption to protect your online data and activity. So look for providers that use military grade encryption methods like the AES 256 bit encryption. All three of these VPNs use that method of encryption, of course. And number three, you want to choose the provider that offers a wide range of server locations to give you the ability to access content from around the world. So with ExpressVPN, you've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, over 5,400 servers with NordVPN in 59 countries, and Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. So depending on your needs and the countries you're looking for, you can pick one over the other. Number four, you want to consider the provider's logging policy. A no logging policy means that the provider does not keep any records of your online activity, which is important for protecting your privacy. And so all these VPNs do have such no logging policies, but not only do they have no logging policies, they also have evidence to uh, show in the form of independent audit reports uh, that pretty much prove that they do uphold the no logging policy and they don't log anything about their users or at least anything that can be linked back to a specific user um, or a specific IP address. Again, more on that in the review below. Number five, you want to check to see if the provider offers a money back guarantee or free trial period. Now, this can allow you to test the service before committing to a long term subscription. So, Let's just suppose you got a one month plan with Express Nord or Surfshark or even the one or two year plans. You can still claim the refund if you're not satisfied. I mean, these VPN providers are confident enough in their service and the reliability and consistency of their services that they will offer you a refund if you're not satisfied for any reason, really. This is what they call a hassle free money back guarantee. Number six, you want to look for a provider that offers multiple simultaneous connections, and this allows you to connect multiple devices to the VPN at the same time, which is useful for families or groups of friends who want to share a single VPN subscription. So with Express VPN, you can secure up to five devices per subscription, six with Nord, and Surfshark will virtually allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. I think the unspoken cap is about 100 uh, devices, but uh, yeah, that's a lot of devices regardless, even if it's just up to 50 or 30 or 50 or 40. So this is still pretty good. Uh, number seven, and the final thing on today's list is make sure the provider offers customer support in the event that you have any issues with the VPN service, it is always important to be able to contact the provider for help. And all these VPNs do have 24 seven live chat support. You know, I've been using these VPNs for over two years now. And, um, you know, over the course of this time, I had problems that have nothing to do with the VPN, but have to do with my computer. And, you know, maybe some of these VPNs, because I have a lot of VPNs installed on my computer. Sometimes these VPNs don't work for whatever reason. And, you know, I might have to troubleshoot my network. I might have to, you know, unplug some cables and plug them again and kind of test things out and maybe uninstall and reinstall and so on and so forth. All of the support teams from these VPN providers were very helpful. Even when I disconnect from them, uh, if I had to like, let's say restart my computer or anything, I can connect back to them and they continue to help me until my issue is solved. So they're all very helpful. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can get yourself the refund again through the 30 day money back guarantee. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.